everyone, this is Lizzie, and today I'm going to share with you how to make this super cute farewell card. So I'll be using one of the new Plan On It stamp sets. This is the vacation version. It has a ton of really cute images, which are perfect for using, of course, for your planner for vacation. But also, I love these small images for making backgrounds for cards. So that's what we're going to do today. So I've taken all of those little images and I've spaced them out pretty evenly along a card front and I'm using some white linen cardstock just to give the card a little bit more interest as opposed to just a regular white card base. The linen has some nice texture to it. And then once I get that all stamped out, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the background of the card. So I thought to add a little bit of extra interest and texture to the card, I'm just adding some black dots to the bottom, well to the whole card, but I'm concentrating the dots at the bottom and the top and then having them get a little bit less uh, together as they get to the middle of the card. And again, I think it just kind of brings all the images together, makes the background a little bit more cohesive and adds a little bit of interest to the card. So now to give the background a little bit of color, I'm going to do some really simple Copic coloring. I've just chosen four colors of markers and that's going to be my color palette for the card. And I'm not doing any shading, just using a single color and sort of randomly coloring parts of the images, just again to give it a little bit of extra color, some interest, and, and just to make the background a little bit more fun. So now that the background of the card is complete, I'm going to start working on my sentiment. I'll be using Cole's ABCs to die cut the sentiment out, and in order to color in the letters, I'm going to sponge some Lawn Fawn ink onto some white cardstock to create sort of a gradient of color. So first I sponged on some celery stick, and then some minty fresh ink, and then the last color that I'll use is Merman. And this kind of goes with the same color scheme that I used with the Copic markers. So these are Cole's ABCs, and I'm going to go ahead and spell out the sentiment. And the first part of the sentiment is going to sort of straddle the celery and minty fresh ink. And then the second part of the sentiment is going to straddle the minty fresh and merman, merman ink. So I'm going to run that through my die cut, and then you can see I have all those letters cut out. Now the last part of my sentiment is going to be this banner which is from Bannertastic, and I'm going to stamp that on some watercolor wishes uh, pattern paper, and then I'll be using this Miss You Already sentiment from Plain and Simple. So I'm going to stamp that in some black ink, and then I will use the coordinating die to die cut out the banner. So I also die cut some black letters out, and I'm going to layer the colored letters onto the black ones just to give it a little bit of shadow and this will help the letters really pop out on the background so you can really they can really stand out and you can really see them so i'm just going to go ahead and adhere all of those letters together and then we can work on assembling the card so i'm going to take my t squared ruler and make sure that everything is nice nice and straight on the card so and centered as well. So I'm going to take the middle portion of the first word and center that with the ruler and then I can sort of space the other two letters around that just so that again everything is nice and evenly spaced and that's what I did for both the top word and the bottom word. And then I just need to adhere the banner, which again, I'm just doing with some liquid glue and centering that onto the card panel. So as one final finishing touch, I'm gonna to use some clear Wink of Stella and just apply that over the letters just to give them a little bit of sparkle. All 
Alright, so here is the finished card. It's a fun farewell card. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!